We're actually really close to the thrift store, so we're walking over there now. Hi YouTubers, resellers, and thrifters. My name is Carrie. My channel here on YouTube is Be Carried Away. I'm a sometimes part-time, sometimes full-time reseller. And I sell primarily on eBay, also Poshmark, Facebook Marketplace, Mercari, little tiny bit on Depop, and recently I have tried getting into Etsy. So I'm gonna go through with you my Etsy sales first. I've been really happy with Etsy, so leave me a note in the comments if you sell on Etsy, what your experience has been, etc. I was a little afraid of that 20 cent, I don't know why, but that 20 cent um, fee to just let it sit there, whether it sells or not. And, um, you know, I just wasn't sure how that was gonna play out. I talked to another reseller and they were like, you know, over the course of a year, that's really only a dollar or something per item, even if it sits there for a year. Um, and the fees are a little bit less, so it really ends up being worth it. And I have had really good luck. So um, I'll go through my sales with you and then I'll give you my kind of just general impression of what it's been like to sell on Etsy as a new Etsy seller. And I've been on eBay for over 20 some years. So uh, my first sale that I'm gonna show you was just yesterday and I haven't shipped it yet, I have it here. I think this might have been in a haul video, but um, just before Easter, I found this at the local Salvation Army um, here in New Jersey and it's this beautiful ceramic, I called it Majolica just because it has that look to it, that Majolica wear look. Um, it's a two piece bowl and in the shape of a rabbit but with all these awesome fruits and what I liked best about this was that it did actually have the paper tag on the bottom so this was from um, trifles made in Italy so probably likely uh, was Majolica now it does have a um, opening here on the side to put a ladle in there's no ladle this item I purchased for somewhere under ten dollars i don't actually remember it might have been 7.99 8.99 something like that i was a little higher than the usual you know two or 3.99 this sold for 68.99 on etsy just yesterday so i'm really happy with that sale next is this little monet crowned frog prince i got this item for free and if you remember my free video where i showed all of the different items that i picked up on freebie alert um, this was one of them. It hadn't sold at the time that I made that video, but it did now, and it's $22.99. It's a little Monet uh, marked on bottom, crowned uh, frog with kind of an enamel wear, and it opens up and is a little uh, trinket box, jewelry box. So $22.99. $22.99 is actually the least expensive item that sold for me on Etsy so far. Next was this Barbarian World Rugby shirt. And um, this was Great Britain World Rugby, which is a, um, a league I found out. So I looked up as much as I could about the league itself. And this sold for a really nice price of $79.99. I purchased this for $4.99 at my Salvation Army. So really, really happy with that Etsy sale. Okay, next is a t-shirt, a vintage t-shirt, Boston Celtics graphic t-shirt. Not much to say about it. Um, single stitch, um, paper tag made in USA, the Celtics, and that sold for $34.99, and I purchased that for just $2.99 at my Salvation Army. Again, very happy with that Etsy sale. Next is this vintage floral fabric jewelry box. Just something really cute, lightweight, unique. I've never really seen one exactly like it, though I did do comps and find one exactly like it. Um, <clears throat> and this sold for $23.99 on Etsy, and all of these are plus shipping. Next is this really beautiful um, peasant blouse, which I just love to wear in the summer. They're so comfortable, kind of a little bit dressy, but not too overdressed, um, still casual. This is by Lula Soul, and it was white with this beautiful beige embroidery and the ta and the tassel tie. $39 and I purchased this for three or four ninety nine dollars at my Salvation Army. So again, a great sale. Next, this sale um, has already been featured in my high dollar what solds, the most recent one, but I'll just go over it again because it was an Etsy sale. $699 for this beautiful, beautiful dollhouse. I paid $60 for this on Facebook Marketplace 
Um, I went over and picked it up, so I had no shipping fees when I got it. I did local Facebook Marketplace, and I was able to sell this for $699 plus another $100 for shipping. So um, the buyer got that and was very happy with it, and I was very happy with that Etsy sale. Next was, uh, this was the lowest price, also $22.99, and this was by False Graph. I don't pick up a lot of False Graph at all, but I picked up almost an entire set of um, this pattern, which is called The Secrets of Pistoulet. Pistoulet. And uh, this, is, this series is based on a book, a well-beloved book. And so False Graph did this series or this um, pattern based on that particular book. So this was just the trivet. The trivet alone was uh, $22.99. So I do have all of the other pieces of that. I'm getting ready to um, list them. They're just a lot harder to photograph, ship, etc. So next is this retro strawberry cookie jar. This was absolutely beautiful. I got this for $3.99 at my Salvation Army. I'll put a picture in here of this uh, when I bought it. Oh, this might have been featured in my high dollar one as well. So I'm sorry if I'm repeating some of them, but I just wanted to go over all of my Etsy sales. So this was, what did I get for that? $59.99 plus shipping. So as you can see, I'm loving Etsy so far. Next, this vintage sweater black and yellow. This was $45.99 plus shipping and I purchased that for three or four dollars, maybe $4.99 at the most. Next, this silk Ralph, Ralph Lauren. I see now that I'm kind of going over a lot of sales that were in my high dollar and that's that's kind of the point about what I wanted to say about Etsy. Um, but this next one is this Ralph Lauren silk new with tags cable knit top, $58.99. So very happy with that sale. Next, this beautiful cloche hat by Swan, $45.99. And I'd like to thank Susan for telling me how to um, pronounce that, cloche. That's the style of hat. I've since listed two more in that same style. Next, these vintage Stuart Weitzman black vintage shoes, $44.99. And I'm going over these pretty quickly because they were in my high dollar sale. Um, next was a pair of Playboy Bunny pants. These were men's Playboy Bunny, not silk, but they felt like silk, like a silky polyester. The Playboy Bunny hearts, definitely vintage. These sold on Etsy for $32.99 plus shipping. Next, a pair of Adidas. These are the ZX700. These were also free in my freebie alert app. I picked these up, so I got $34.99 for those. Next sales these are this is something i love to pick up this is vintage hawaiiana hawaii items that are older i love to pick up they make, they're so much fun to collect and to decorate with um this is a vintage hula girl and she sold very quickly on etsy for 38.99 i think i paid just a couple dollars for her very not very much at all and my very first item i ever sold on etsy were these ll bean canvas jute Esperdil uh, sandals. I don't know if these were really supposed to be sold on Etsy because Etsy is for um, vintage and handmade items. And at first I was just kind of putting everything up there. So, um, but it, they did sell and they were my very first sale for $35.99. So I've been really happy with Etsy overall and I'm definitely gonna stay on it, listing only vintage items, anything that's handmade that I happen to find. I won't be handmaking anything. Um, but for, for people who are artists and crafters and things like that, it's a really great venue. But I have found it to be a wonderful venue for the kinds of things I like to pick up. And what I really love about it is there's no, I mean, people have just bought everything full price. Every item, all of those uh, 16, 17 items are just full price. Boom, you get the you know notice on your phone and the item sold and off it goes. So, I will definitely be staying on Etsy.